Hi, my name is Tim McConville, and I have a question about agriculture. I hear a lot about sugar in our diets these days, but I don't really know much about sugar and where it comes from and whether it's the same type of sweetener in everything that I eat and drink. There's no doubt that most of us like a little sweetness in our lives. And whether you're having a piece of birthday cake or enjoying a soft drink, you may be wondering just what makes it taste so good. Well, it all goes back to the plant kingdom and farming around the world. Ready for a little chemistry? Sugar is a simple, edible, crystalline carbohydrate. Sugar comes in many different forms, and all of them have a sweet flavor. Way back when, folks used things like honey and maple syrup as sweeteners. But crystallized sugar from sugar cane was being enjoyed in Southeast Asia some 5,000 years ago. Sugar cane is a major source of sugar that we see in the world today. But what else is sweetening those foods on my table? Well, sugar beets are big business for farmers in the upper Midwest in California. The beets are sliced, then processed to extract their sugary content. Now, we should mention that lots of plants manufacture sugar, not just cane or beets. Why? Well, they do it to store energy, just as humans do with fat. It's a process of photosynthesis. So, now you have your sugar beets, sugar cane, and we should mention corn. That's because a lot of sweetness comes from high fructose corn syrup these days. If there's a sugary taste to your soft drinks, ice cream, breads, or salad dressing, high fructose corn syrup may be the reason. It's also a new player to the sweetness game. With cornstarch as a base, the chemistry was developed in the 1950s, and by the 1970s, it was showing up in lots of things on the supermarket shelf.